Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 37th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about comparison operators in Perl for strings. So in the last tutorial we uh, checked out a bunch of comparison operators that work with the numbers. In this tutorial we're going to see the uh, corresponding operators that can be used with the text data. So you know I have a script opened up here that's called comparison underscore operators underscore strings and in this script on line number three I have uh, created a scalar variable x which has the value world and uh, it's been enclosed in double quotes which means that's a string of text and then uh, on line number four I have created a variable y which has the value hello so um, words in a dictionary are arranged in alphabetical order and if you would uh, take a word that starts with the alphabet a and if you would compare it with a word that starts with the, the alphabet Z then uh, you know you could say that the word that starts with Z is greater than the word that starts with A because it appears on a page number that's greater and you know that's the sense that has been embedded in Perl so if you would uh, run the check $x less than $y then it would see the position of the two words in a dictionary you know like I don't know if that's how it works exactly but of course it looks at the ASCII value of the first character in the two words maybe and on the basis of that it decides whether uh, the you know uh, the condition would evaluate to true or false so anyway the corresponding uh, comparison operator in strings for the less than symbol for numbers is LT so it's a short form for uh, less than and uh, similarly you have GT for greater than you have LE for less than equal to you have GE for greater than or equal to you have EQ for equal to so this is uh, you know uh, equivalent to the double equal to operator that we use with numbers and then you have NE for not equal to which is uh, the same as the exclamation equal to operator for uh, numeric values so I have uh, a bunch of if statements in the script and uh, I use uh, I've used these operators to compare the values stored in variables x and y and on the basis of uh, you know what we get from the uh, if statement we are printing some lines of text so anyway I'll make sure that the script is saved and I'll run it to show you the output so we see that world is greater than hello and that's because the rank of world in a dictionary would be more than the rank of hello and then world is greater than or equal to hello of course it's greater than that's why we are seeing this message and then world and hello are not the same and I'll close this window and I'll uh, change hello to something else or you know it would be easier if I change world to apple and I'll run the script and now we see apple is less than hello apple is less than or equal to hello and apple and hello are not the same and then finally I would change hello to apple and see how that would work and we see apple is less than or equal to apple apple is greater than or equal to apple and apple and apple are the same so it works perfectly I mean all the operators we've seen uh, the syntax now so uh, I hope this gives you uh, the knowledge that's required to compare string values in Perl and Perl was actually designed to be a language for text processing uh, somewhere down the line it has just lost uh, that reputation uh, Python is now the most popular language for text processing and you know text mining and all and um, Perl is still a popular language but uh, I don't know how many people in the world uh, use Perl for text mining uh, anyway, I hope you guys had fun watching this video. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care.